Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam and here. We are the Soul Brothers. How are you guys doing? Back with a versus video. This is a good one. This is a good versus video. Uh, these are two Adidas shoes. And the top performing uh, Adidas shoes. Yeah, and two top performing of all performance basketball shoes. Yes. Two of the top performing. Uh, this is the Harden Volume 1, of course, versus... The D-Rose 8. All right, so the D-Rose 8 just came out not too long ago, so let's put it toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Harden Volume 1. As yeah. far as traction go, they're both really good. Yes. Uh, but the D-Rose 8 is real, real good. I mean, the Harden picks up a little bit more dust, I would yeah. say. You know, and you're, you're going to have to do a little bit more wiping. And when when there is dust present, uh, I would I found myself slipping just a little bit. Yeah. You know, but the D roses, not a problem. Very good traction with the roses. Amazing traction. Yeah, like and like I just feel like I, I don't even think about traction yeah. in the D roses. Yeah. It's just there's no uh, hesitation. It's just gonna be nuts. Like if it if the shoe had shitty cushion and shitty you know whatever else with really good traction, I would still play in it because traction is just so nice yeah. you know like i just don't want to worry about slipping out and it's so important exactly so, so important um harden's very good but you know zero's eight for the win okay moving on to the cushion boost versus boost yes all right but this this boost setup in the harden volume one is very caged uh entire around the whole <laughs> lateral side um and uh, the medial side is a little bit of it exposed you feel a little bit in the heel. It's a little mushy, a little bit of impact protection. Forefoot is super responsive, but you're not going to feel nearly as much boost as you are in the D-Rose Yes. Uh -huh. So the D-Rose you can definitely feel the heel. It's not a crazy mushy feeling or anything like that, which I, li which I like a lot. Um, it's more of like a really quick bounce. Not as quick as Zoom, but it's a faster bounce than uh, most... Uh, other boost shoes, you know, mm -hmm. and um, impact protection is way better in the D roses. Mm -hmm. uh, even though the Hardens are nice, the the, the roses are better. Um, you feel lower to the ground in the Hardens, but the D rose eight, you still feel low low to the ground, yeah. you know. So it's not bad in the D rose eight. Uh, heel to toe transition, they're both really good. Um, overall, I, I would say I like the D rose eight better. Me too. You know. All right, uh, moving on to the upper slash materials. Uh, the Harden Volume One. There's there's different materials based on different colorways, uh, but overall it's a pretty premium setup. Looks pretty premium, feels pretty premium, but it is a little thick and and, and strong and sturdy, and but it's supportive. Another thing I hate about the Hardens is it takes <clears throat> really really long time to break in the, yeah. the you know the, the materials. Uh, when I first put it on, it would just, I would have so much pinching. I would get blisters. Uh, it would cut my feet up. Um, but when I broke it in, it's actually really nice. So just yeah. watch out for that break-in period. Uh, the Dio's 8, um, it uses a foam back mesh upper and there are cutouts. So ventilation is good and also helps um, to uh, bend the uh, material for your foot. You know, yeah. when you flex it, it flexes with your foot a little bit better. Mm -hmm. The Dio's 8 uh, feels a lot thinner, which I like. Uh, it doesn't feel as thick and bulky. Um, and. It, it, there's no break-in time needed. There's no pinching, um, and, and ventilation is a lot better, I guess. So we'll, if we'll get to that, but uh, I feel like the materials for me, I like the Duros Eight better. Yeah, like I like the look and feel better on the Harden Volume One, but it's really about how it performs, and the materials are pretty much just kind of ready to go in the Duros Eight out the gate. Yes. Regardless of how premium they look or feel, so uh, Duros Eight for the win. Yes. Uh, now talking about fit. Fit. The, you know, Adidas shoes all run long. You want to want to go down half a size in both. Yes. Um, the D Rose Eight probably fits a little more narrow. Yes. Um, yeah. So but it, it kind of widens out in the toe area here. Yeah. Uh, but the midfoot is pretty snug in in the hard. But they both fit really well. I would say the D Rose Eight fits better. Yes, for me too. Yeah. So yeah. another um, win for the D Rose Eight. Yeah. So wide foot, hardened, narrower foot, uh, D Roses. Uh, lockdown. No problems. I mean, you had problems with the Hardens. And oh I, yeah, I do have a yeah. little slippage in the in, in the heel, just not crazy, but yeah. But a lot, of, actually, a few people have told me uh, they experienced heel slippage in the Hardens. Well, I, I had it, I, in this. I bought this colorway, the Pioneer, and it was I couldn't even play in them. Yes. Uh, I, I I guess I just I didn't really didn't want to break in this uh, upper this toe material forever. But I got my one with the uh, it's like a elastic in the toe. Yeah. And there was no problems out the gate, ready to go, good lockdown. Yes. So, but there's really no problems with any D-Rose yeah. so far, as far as lockdown, so win so, for the D-Rose. Yes. 
Um, and then support. Uh, this is a low, so it's already going to lose as far as ankle support. There is a decent amount of ankle support in the D-Rose 8. Not crazy. Yes. And it's not like very cumbersome or anything yeah. in the ankle. It doesn't feel super restricted. So I like that because I like playing in lows. But support as far as just the upper materials, the hards are super supportive. Yes. So where there is support, I don't know, I would call it even a tie. Yeah. So, but, you know, it does win in just in the fact of uh, ankle protection a little bit. And Jack Ray. Uh, let's check in on the weight. Yes. This is a low versus a high, so... Um, I feel like the Hardens are going to be heavier, though. Yeah, the Hardens are a little heavy. Okay, so the D-Rose is 13.26 ounces. Not bad. And then the Hardens are 13.54. Wow. They're like the same weight, but uh, the D-Rose is, you know, a high. Yeah. Um, I hope to God that Adidas makes a low version of this. Because that would, that would just be my go-to, you know. But um, this is anyway my go-to. But yeah. anyways, um, what feels lighter? I feel pretty light in both. Yeah, very light in both, but it does feel just a little bit bulky. Um, yeah. A little bit because of this, especially this leather material. Yeah. I um, mean, I did remove it, and when I did remove it, it still felt a little bulky. Yeah. So um, it's just the materials. But um, anyways. Ventilation. Yeah, yeah, the hardens are kind of hot. Yeah, they're a little hot. There's a little more ventilation in the D-Rose 8 for sure. Yes. You can just see it. Um, durability. Uh, the hardens are pretty much tanks. Yeah, I feel like the cutouts, um, something's going to tear here in the yeah. cutouts for some reason, for me. And um, I do have, like, this fuse is coming off right mm -hmm. here. Um, I don't know. But I feel like the hardens are, like, way better. It, yeah. Better for durability. Aesthetics, harden. Yes. But I, I like sure. my D-Ross. I don't know why, but... Um, not a bad looking shoe. Yeah. Uh, Girl on you, huh? Well... It, it, when it, I got the different colorway and it's a different uh, upper. Yeah. I just don't like these tiger stripes. Really? I don't really love, but it, it did grow on me a little more. All right, wrapping things up. Uh, price difference. I think it's a, they're about the same. I think 140, 140. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so same price. What performs better? Uh, for me, I love the roses. So I'm gonna yeah. say the rose just uh, plays better. Yeah. I mean, all over, there's there's days I would choose the hardens, just on the simple fact that it's a low. In some days, I just want to play on low, but most of the days, I mean, you're not going to go wrong with the D Rose. I, I would probably choose most the of the D days, I would just choose the D Rose. Yeah. I mean, like all of the days, I would choose the D Rose. Mm -hmm. That's how nice these are. You guys definitely have to try it out, guys. Uh, one of the best performing shoes right now. Mm -hmm. It's not hyped, so I love it. It's made. It's not the best looking shoe, so I, I don't think a lot of people are going to like it. But performance yeah. wise, if you guys want really good performance, go with the D Rose. It's 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 amazing. I love these shoes so. Um, the Euros 8 for the win. The Hardens are not bad, but the Roses are just better. So, um, thank you guys for watching. That's the Versus video, and we'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.